in the beginning of October, I had 3,600 and something followers. And I'm ending off the month with over 15,000 followers. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow that stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. What's up, Vice Gang? I am Cheyenne, and I'm back with another video. Yeah! Period. If you new here, welcome to the family. In this um in this channel, we talk about fashion, um, lifestyle, and transformation. Overall, just growth, how to be the high value woman you you know want to be physically, mentally, emotionally, all those type of things. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about transforming, transforming into the new you, or just going through um, a transition process, learning about the emotions about transitioning and you know letting go of the old you. Then keep on watching and stay tuned for the surprise that we have at the end. All right, y'all, I'm going to just give it to y'all raw. I did not um, make no outline for this video. I just, God told me to do this video today. So, I'm going to just do it, y'all. We made it. We made it. Hey. I finally was able to reach, you know, 10,000 followers on my Instagram. And I am just so overwhelmed with gratitude. And I'm just so grateful for everybody who's been along me through the journey, all my old people, all the new people. And I just wanted to talk about this today because around this time, if you guys don't know, around this time, I go through a major transition. And I kind of talked a little bit about this in my um, seasonal depression video. I'm gonna put it right here. And I noticed that the devil was like, around this time, because I'm going through like a major transition and a major shift, it kind of was causing me not to be as you know excited and grateful as i am now and that's because you know when it comes to transitioning a, a part of the old you sheds um from the new you so if you don't know now you know i am a high school life skills teacher i explain a little bit more of my career in this video and in the class, we go through this course called Transitions. And you know, transitioning is from one phase of life to another phase of life. Whether you're go moving into a new place, starting a new career, going to a new school, there are challenges that come whenever it comes to transitioning. And my seasonal depression started all the way back in 2020. And this is when I realized it this year. So back in 2020, always around um, August and December, I was going through a transition with school and a new job. Now, although these are big, you know, things that I'm like going through and I should be excited for, but a part of me just had some type of fear when it comes to like new. And I feel like this happens to a lot of people. When it comes to like going through something new, it's always a little bit scary. So back in 2020, I started a new job at a clothing store called Lambert and I was going to my university which is Florida International University. And around that time, I started getting, you know, depression because a lot of the focus was put on to, okay, am I doing the right thing? What is the future gonna hold for me? This is new, this is very uncomfortable. And being uncomfortable is a part of the process. Even though I was getting a, a whole bunch of blessings, I was still constantly worrying. And those are something that you gotta let go to. So um, I went through another transition slash seasonal depression again in 2021 when i left that job and became a full-time entrepreneur now this was another stress because i had to really like apply faith and apply rely on god for everything i was just like okay and this is all happening around the same time it happens around august to december i ain't have money like i had some money saved up but i ain't have money to you know sustain a lifestyle this was like unlocking a new category of faith. The same thing happened with 2022. I ran out of money when it came to um, being a full-time entrepreneur. And I told God, I said, God, I'm going to, I had to go through a transition where I graduate college and now it's time for me to go into my career field. And honestly, if y'all watched my last video, you should know, I didn't want to be a teacher for real. I became a teacher by default. When I say I became a teacher by default, this is what literally happened the summer of 2022. 
I said, God, I'm going to graduate. And nobody likes to sit and talk to you about the post-grad depression. Because a lot of times you go to school, right? You go and you graduate college. And it's like, oh my God, now I got to find a job. And it's so hard to find a job. And honestly, it makes sense for me. Okay, I got this education degree. I have to get into teaching now. But I was so scared of going into teaching. I said, I don't want to go into teaching. I want to be a full-time entrepreneur or a content creator or something around those sorts. In 2022, around the same time, August to December, I told God, I said, I am not making much money as a full-time entrepreneur. God, this is extremely hard. This is the, one of the hardest things I've ever had to experience. So I said, God, I want to be able to, you know, still have freedom. My main goal on even being a teacher was to have freedom. They have the most freedom, I feel like. They have the whole summer off. So I said, God, I just want a job that I can, it allows me to be, you know, an entrepreneur or a content creator. I have the time to do that while, you know, um, still getting paid consistently because I, I i don't like the entrepreneur mindset of oh you don't know when you're gonna get paid and stuff like that no i want to know period get benefits too so i told god i said gosh i told god straight up i said i want a job that you know i could have a lot of time like the teacher schedule basically having you know summers off so i could you know focus on my business weekends off you know um holidays off and still get paid but i want it to be very easy and very simple literally long and behold i had a friend that you know told me about the job that she worked at and it was everything that i described and honestly to this day my mind is still blown but in 2023 this this became like another transition at the beginning of the year, I kid you not, I made a vision board of some of the goals that I wanted to accomplish. It just blew my mind on how God blessed me with all of them, even when I couldn't see it through. I wanted to hit a certain amount in my savings account. I surpassed that. Let me just not get, keep, let me just be nosy. I wanted to hit like 15,000 in my like savings or whatever. When it came to last year, I couldn't even fathom saving that amount because I had less than $1,000 in my account from being a full-time entrepreneur. And I'm not gonna throw no shade with it. I'm just speaking from my experience. Another one was to like travel, have fun, try new you know, experiences. And these were things that was on my bucket list. Some of the things that I were able to do, was able to do was go see Beyonce. Um, I had developed like a new sense of fashion. You know, if you don't know, um, Dior, Des Dior was like kind of like my inspiration. I kind of like copied, I'm put some videos on inspos of a little bit of her things um, that I like mimic throughout the year. But one of my main goals was to hit 10K followers I made this video back in April. My YouTube manifestation. I'm praying this year I'm gonna reach 10K followers on TikTok or any platform. You guys heard it here first, period. In the beginning of October, I had 3,600 and something followers and I'm ending off the month with over 15,000 followers. I'm mind blown. And in the midst of it, this was kind of like happening. So, Y'all, I was going through like a depression phase because I get seasonal depression around this time. And at the at the beginning of the month, I was a little bit overwhelmed because I was just like, okay, it's Q4. Um, what's next for my life? Um, I started like a new um career that I wanted to like pursue because I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, I'm gonna be up front like Teachers, they don't get paid. And I'm, I felt like I'm over here living in my mama's house and I'm living paycheck to paycheck. <laughs> How is girls mother freaking living in their own apartment right now? Like, put me on. So I wanted to pick up a new skill so that I could be able, so I could learn. And I'm gonna tell y'all that new skill. So I have a friend, shout out to my friend, Anastasia. Y'all go check her out. She's also known as Female Boss Hustle. She told me about this career called QA, Quality Assurance. It's similar to IT, but it's a lot easier. What, she bas what you basically do is you go on websites and you see if they work or not. And it's a job that's very, very slept on. 
they pay you 75,000 to, you know, 150,000. When I tell you everything is easy, it's easy. I had paid for a course in order to do it. And you know, as I was doing the course, I kind of felt like part of me was like, is this something that you should be doing right now? I had faith that I was gonna, you know, blow up in the last three months, but I didn't like fully believe. Like I had a feeling that I was gonna, you know, fully blow up, but I was just like, I didn't fully like believe it. I started the course, me and my sister started the course. It's like a two month course. So what they basically do is they show you how to make your resume. They teach you, you know, interview questions and they show you what you're gonna be, you know, doing. Learning basically the skills on how it's like to be a cute, a quality assurance, you know, specialist. It's a little bit pricey, I'm not even gonna lie. However, I wanted to be able to do this because I have bigger goals, I have bigger, goals i want to save for and this paycheck was not going to pay for it every single time i would get paid it was like okay i'm a little bit mad because like okay i could put certain things towards my savings but like my play money was not enough and for my dreams in order to get things that you really really might want like big things you just got to make more money doing this job was my form of making more money and I spoke to God about, you know, doing this job. I still felt like, mm, God, I even made like a pros and cons list. Like, in my current job, we teach this thing called props. And that's a way for you to um, make decisions. So you have to pause, reflect, options. So I made like a pros and cons list of, you know, if I get this job, you know, how is this going to benefit me? If I don't get it. I felt like I was gonna be stagnant in life and I didn't wanna I didn't wanna have that feeling. So the pros was outweighing the cons, but a sign that God gave me to like leave that job was I felt like I was being bum bombarded with a whole bunch of different things at that time. I was getting overwhelmed, I was getting stressed out, I was just like trying going back to my old habits. So some of the things I do when I stressed out, I overspend. I overeat. Went to life group one time and one one time and my um my teacher that was there, she was just saying how certain things could be good, but it can be a distraction for that moment that God and the devil is trying to use. He's trying to make it seem like, oh, this is something, you know, an opportunity that's you know God given and stuff like that. But it not it may not be for you in this season. It may be a good opportunity, but you can't just take every single opportunity. And that following Sunday, my pastor was preaching about closing certain doors to opening opening up bigger doors. And I was just like, God, I know that if I get this job after this course, I could be able to make, you know, six figures and have money to save for, you know, my future things that I want to build on. But I felt like God was telling me that this was a door that needed to be closed because you started school back again. You're trying to be a full-time um, content creator. You have a certain goal of making 10K followers and you're picking up this, you're adding too much stuff on your plate. It was taking away the time of me content creating because I had to constantly be on my Zooms when it comes to learning the skill. We had an assignment to do every single day. It wasn't big assignments, but I felt like it was like another thing added on my big, already big to-do list. I told God, all right, God, I'm going to trust you. And I closed that door. The minute I stopped doing the course, that's when all of the blessings started coming. I low-key wanted to even quit my teaching job because I felt like, I didn't have that spark for it anymore, but I felt like God was saying, this is where you need to be at, at this time. Because what blew me up was my teaching content. And I say that to say this, through all the transitions that I went through, you just can't put limits on God. Your whole life could change within a whole year. It just makes me feel so overwhelmed with gratitude. So some of the things, um that you are gonna experience when it comes to your transition process is shedding the old you from the new you. You have to be able to ask yourself who you are and who do you want to become. I, I was struggling with this because as I was going through my seasonal depression, I was just like, oh, I'm developing my old habits again and stuff like that. But the new me wants to eat healthier, 
making sure I'm fit, making sure I'm financially stable. It, it was like a constant fight. I felt like I was going through spiritual welfare in, welfare in a way, but it's just me transforming. So some of the things that you have to analyze and realize is that yes, the old you is what created you to be who you are today, but it's time for you to grow. But some of the things that you do have to do when it comes to, you know, transitioning is props. So you have to pause. You have to think about what is the decision. Like, you have to think about, you have to stop and think. That's what it basically is. Stop and think. It's hard to make a good decisions or make good decisions in general if you have so many things constantly moving and stuff like that. And that's why God always say, he said in the six, seven day he rested. It's very important for you to rest. When you rest, you're you're able to, you know, reevaluate. You you're able to just stop and think. What keeps me calm and manage my stress now is going for a walk and watching my favorite TV shows. It could be so much things bad happening going on and stuff like that. I'm just like, you know what? I don't take my little um depression naps anymore because it's like it makes me sluggish but now i make sure that i'm just trying to live you know intentionally and a happy life and if i keep moving and stuff like that i could i'm going to end up making irrational decisions so that's what prize means reflect you have to be able to think about um what is the decision you must make so you have to think about past experiences experiences that you might have done before or other people experiences because you can learn from other people I learned from my big sister that at this young age, I'm not, I'm, I'm not trying to, I'm already stressed out by, by, by about to be 25. So why learning from her experience on having my nephew at a young age, at 17 years old, I'm able to make that decision like, okay, I'm easily not going to have no kids right now because it's just going to be too much. Options. You want to be able to create a pros and cons, you know, list. I sometimes everything might feel like oh I have no choice I have no you have to control what you can't control okay you have to be able as human beings we always want to be able to be in control but we're always going to have some type of options in life and we can't control every single thing so we have to let God do some of the work create a pros and cons list say for example if you're in a relationship what is the pros of that person what is the cons of that person this person is mad funny this person i'm very comfortable to be around him and stuff like that but this person is disrespectful he's always talking right to me and based on what you value you make the decision like that prioritize the next p stands for prioritize so prioritize is basically you know prioritize on your values your needs your wants needs and your values what is important to you me I'm going to use this as an example. For me, I value my rest time. On Sundays, I don't want to hear nothing from work. I don't want to do crap. If job wants me to work on Sunday, I prioritize my rest time. I'm not going to take that job because I'm just not. Then you select. So select is basically when you pick. Another thing I wanted to add on when it comes to transforming and transitioning is gratitude we live in a day and age where it seems like we give a lot more energy towards the negative than the positive and when you're able to stop and look at what you already have you should be able to understand that you are blessed like, you know life be life but you if you view life itself as a blessing you won't be so focused on the world if you get what i'm saying like why would god put me in this world to not live my best life it's certain things that be happening to me that's like bad or whatever they're only for a season you know and seasons are always going to change you see the rain it's not going to be raining for the whole entire year if you listen to et he uses the example of how a diamond is made it's gonna it's made through a lot of pressure and pressure and pressure but at the end it comes out beautiful you know and authentic and you know where and the value price is going up so that's how you gotta think of it as another thing i want to say when it comes to you know transitioning is forgiving forgiving yourself and forgiving others now this is super super hard because it's not like a thing that says okay i'm gonna forgive this person and then that's it i'm gonna get my closure and then that's it 
it's a constant decision that you have to make every single day i'm gonna use myself as an example i'm in this little depression state i want to do go to people that makes me comfortable and one of those people is my ex-boyfriend <laughs> I be feeling so sad, so lonely. So it's like, I want to hit him up. You feel me? You know how they say, forgive and forget. You can't forget about what happened, but you can choose how to react. So for me, it's a constant decision every day to not call him. And it's super, super hard. But is it going to benefit you or is it going to hinder you? What that person did was hurt you. It hurted you. But you have to be able to choose to not let it control your future because he broke my heart i'm not gonna let that situation define who i am so certain things you just have to let go and also when it comes to to like motivation and stuff like that i know i'm all over the place with this video y'all like i said i'm just trying to like get it out there when it comes to motivation you can't just wait to get motivated you can't just listen to a video and you know see somebody and you know have that just be able to motivate you that could be able to be an inspiration for you but with motivating i feel like it's more so you have to just do it because motivation is not long term for example i watch a video and i get motivated to go work out and i work out you're not gonna feel motivated every single day to go work out even when it comes to work you're not going to feel motivated to go to work every single day, but it's something that you got to do. You have to remind yourself that this is, I need to be able to do this to make this money, to pay these bills. So you just got to go and go do it. So don't allow just motivation to run you. You have to be able to just do certain things. And the last thing I want to be able to allude to is welcoming new opportunity, love, and blessing. When it comes to transitioning, I know sometimes we want to control everything that we do. But you have to release the obsession of control. When it came to transitioning from a teacher to a content creator and stuff like that, a lot of like negativity was coming towards me because I felt overwhelmed because of, I felt overwhelmed because of the fear. A lot of us is afraid of success, believe it or not. I was afraid of success because you know how they be saying, oh the rich people or the people with a whole bunch of followings and a whole bunch of monies they all they want to kill themselves and stuff like that because they get so overwhelmed with people say and i'm just like i want to make sure that i'm doing my deep work within myself to not be fake i can feel my feelings but i'm not gonna let what people say or anything you know move me to you know want to you know let that fear go and let God handle it. You have to be able to understand that the devil is going to try to control and gain power of your diet. But you got to be able to fight back. Yes, you know, being successful comes with like a lot of stress. However, with God, let God handle it. If you can get through one thing, what makes you think you can't get through all the other things? Why would God just, you know, give you all this success and leave you hanging? Like there's always room for growth. Um, I don't know where I was going with that, but <laughs> y'all, I just want to say, if you stay to the end of this video, just know I love you. And I know that there's a lot, like, I was all over the place with this video, but I'm just so happy and grateful for, you know, all the blessings that I've been getting. I told myself I'm not going to cry. Bitch, you better not mother freaking cry. But yeah, I'm just so happy and grateful for everything. Um there's going to be a giveaway coming soon so i want you to make sure you stay tuned for the giveaway subscribe to this channel follow me on instagram follow me on all my platforms and just ride along the journey with me i'm not that pretty girl that you know just sit there and take pictures i'm not a gatekeeper either i want to make sure i give y'all value and give it to y'all raw so if y'all have any you know video suggestions or ideas make sure you also comment down with that below but we made it to 15k y'all i'm just so overwhelmed with gratitude thank you so so much a giveaway coming so i'm gonna make a separate video about that but i just know i love you guys please do not forget to hit that subscribe button so you can be notified whenever i put out a new video and i'll catch y'all in my new video Mwah. i love you we did it